What's going on, YouTube? Coming in with another old cartoon Christmas special. This is Dr. Seuss's How to Grinch Stole Christmas. And I don't care how old you are or whatnot, you know who Dr. Seuss is. Dr. Seuss made a bunch of amazing children's book. He was awesome. Like, um, he's another reason why I started to draw to um uh, and then you got yeah green eggs and ham hort um hort and here's a who um thing one thing two I can go on and on about Dr. Seuss but this one Christmas special was um cool to me man and then when they actually made it a a live action movie or live movie with Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey played the hell out of the Grinch. Actually, that actually became my favorite movie besides this Christmas special too. Um, I'm glad that Hollywood didn't make a part two to it. I'm glad he didn't. They did it once. They did it great, and I loved it, man. I, me and my friends back in middle school used to say the lines all the time. Holiday Who Be What It with Jim Carrey would say in the movie. Jim Carrey played the hell out of the Grinch, man. That makeup was like like spot on, like like if the Grinch was like actually really really real. But um, back to the cartoon. The cartoon was about a man that lived in the cave with his dog. He was just evil, man. He just didn't like certain things. He definitely didn't care for the Christmas holiday and Whoville, and basically came up with this plot. That he was going to steal Christmas. Basically, he was going to go to every house in Whoville, take their trees, take their Christmas presents, and just, I guess, push them off a cliff and such. But um, what happened was um, he got a little too close to one of the um, people from Whoville, which was Cindy Lou Who. I think that was what her name was, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, and then once everybody woke up and found out that their presents were taken, they started to sing, and his heart grew, and as the sled was going off the edge of the cliff, he had to change of heart and went to save the, the, the presents, and basically he saved Christmas in, in retrospect. Yeah, he was trying to steal it because of his own, his own greed of not liking Christmas. I get often called a Grinch because I think Christmas is overrated. Some people think it's not. I, that's just my opinion. Which once you grow up and you learn the true meaning of Christmas, and you come to find out that it's a consumer holiday like anything else. You seem not to like even care about Christmas like that. I mean, Christmas is cool. I mean, Christmas is not even the same anymore, man. I gotta mention any and like other times. They don't even do Christmas. They show the Christmas specials on TV no more, man. I'm running Asia sure is. Christmas comes to Pagland. Um, Flintstone Christmas. Like, I used to have a bunch of Flintstones Christmas specials. Casper's and Yogi Bear's first Christmas. Um, it just it was just a lot of stuff that really turned me off from Christmas. The cartoon, the Christmas specials, was also a big reason why they turned me off from um, Christmas specials. Reminded me of my childhood. I always look forward to them. The Tiny Toons Christmas. Um, Looney Tune Christmas, um, just a bunch of them. I mean, ABC Family tries to show some of that stuff, like, but not like the the Pac Man and all that. They show like the Rudolph the Red Reindeer, the Baby New Year, the Little Drummer Boy, and such. But um, it's just not the same. I mean, it might be different from. With people like it, you know, just to let y'all know this is going to both channels, so y'all see it doubly. It's just because of the Grinch's 
You don't know who to some people. Some people watched it when they were younger. Some people watched it now. Some people seen the Jim Carrey movie. And some people even read the books. Some, some, I know my nephew just found one of the Dr. Seuss books. And he, like, I did not know the Grinch was a book first before they made it a cartoon. I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, um, I'm not going to ruin Christmas from anybody else. Christmas is Christmas, man. But, um. Yeah, man, it's the Grinch who stole Christmas, one of my favorite Christmas specials, along with Christmas coming pack land and, and such, man. Scooby-Doo Christmas, they had those. You had Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear had a bunch of Christmas. You had Yogi Bear and Friends. And maybe Cartoon Network might change their mind and show it on Christmas. Because I remember before, it used to be like every day Christmas. You had Gummy Bears Christmas. You had the Smurf Christmas special. It was just a lot of shit, man. A lot of shit changed over the years. I guess because of the generations coming up, but nothing we can do about it. All we can do is just sit here and <laughs> complain like I do about oh Christmas specials. Or you can, I can actually film pack Christmas in the pack land on um, iTunes, so I get my. Christmas coming pack when fix um bunch of other stuff I had to wait to see if I can find it on DVD and have it so I can watch it every Christmas. But until then, until next time, YouTube. Um, see y'all later. Peace.